Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about TeamSpeak. If you go to www.teamspeak.com, you can come up to this page here. And as you can see here, you can run this client on a, tel on a cellular phone. Um, it has for Apple and Android there. You can see here it has different um, platforms it's supported. Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, and Android. All right. And what this is, this is like a chat room. It originally is for gamers and stuff, but a lot of people use it for other um, things also. But to get to this TeamSpeak room here, you're going to want to download this, the free download client. And you want to make sure it is TeamSpeak 3. You'll have to accept the license agreement. Now, tell us how you heard about this. All right. Um, you can do whatever you want there. I just want to take no thanks. Take me to the download. It says my download will start in a few seconds. There is my download. I'm using Google Chrome for this. Okay, now with Google Chrome, this is where I'm looking at my downloads here. Now, this is going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, now that we've downloaded the TeamSpeak 3 client, it was a 30 megabit file. We can open it. The user account control will show up. It says, please wait while setup is loading. Okay, now, welcome to the TeamSpeak 3 client setup. We'll hit next here. Um, I do agree to the license agreement. Install for anyone using this computer. That means for all user accounts or just install for me. I'll just go ahead and do all user accounts. It is going to go to the programs file, TeamSpeak Client 3. Um, again, we will hit next. Okay. Recommend is save and users files. That's where we're going to save. So we'll hit next. Now, choose a start menu folder. We're going to leave it at TeamSpeak 3 Client. And we are going to install. Now this will take a few minutes depending on your computer. Okay, now it says completed. So we are going to hit close. Okay, now let's get rid of this page. And here you see we have an icon here, a TeamSpeak 3 client. So now that we have it downloaded and installed, let's open this up. Okay, now, here's a setup wizard um, that you can go through. It's going to do your choosing your nickname, your microphone settings, test your microphone, useful key bindings, select sound pack, and select plugins. So at this point, we're going to hit next. Okay, choose a nickname. Okay. We're going to choose Wilbur Bear. Now, some of the rooms, people that we have, like our, our um, TeamSpeak computer chat room, we like to have our users have their real first name after so everybody knows who they are. So we're going to hit slash. And then that's optional. Okay, voice activation detection. Okay, here is the thing. You can use voice activation detection and you can adjust that and everything. But I suggest you use push to talk. 
This way, if you are doing something in the room and you're away from your computer and the noise is loud enough to trigger your voice activation, then everybody in that room can hear you. Um, just to keep some disturbances in the room, let's do the push to talk. No hotkey assigned. So we're going to click on that. And then I usually use the right control button. So now you see there it says right control button is enabled to push to talk. So what this means is when I go into the room, no one will ever hear me unless I push that right control button to talk. So that way, if something comes on in the room or something like that, it ain't going to automatically activate my um, mic and disturb everybody in the room. Okay, next. Here's a push to talk test. So I'm going to hit the um, key I chose. And as and you, you can, can see, see right, right there, here. it comes up into um, the volume meter and it's working. You can slide this to go higher or lower. Um, I suggest not getting it too high or you'll start clipping. So I'm okay on that. So let's hit next. Speaker mute. No hotkey assigned. Now, if I want to assign a hotkey to this, um, I can. Let me, um, I'll just do the left alt key is what I'm going to use for demonstration purposes. And now if I'm in the room and I want to mute the room, I can just hit the alt. Now, when you're choosing these keys, think about what you're doing with the keys because, um, you don't want to use a key that you normally use typing or something. You want to use a key that's not used very much by you. That way you're not typing and keep hitting the key. So now we're going to hit next. Okay. This is your select sound pack. All right. You can have a female voice or a male voice. And you can come down and through here right there. and channel switched. Channel switched. And you can hear what they're sounding like. Okay. Now, when you get into the TeamSpeak room, if you do not want these activated, you can turn them off and disable the voice. But for now, we're going to use female and just go on through here. Okay. Now, this is a enable overlay. This is more for when the gaming side of it so let's just go on that en enables you to see who's speaking so let's hit next so we'll leave that unchecked and hit next now all done open public server list or rent your own team speak server i do not want to rent my own spirit server so i'm just going to put open server list and hit finished okay now that'll bring you to this page Okay, with this page here, you can see here that these are a bunch of public servers out that you can join. Um, there's max Channel clients. Switch. These people have is 400. There's 22 clients there. No password. Kind of tells you a little bit um, about other rooms in the TeamSpeak. But if you're downloading this, you're probably wanting to go to a certain room. So let's close this for now. Now, go up here to Connections. If you click on Connections, and then hit Connect. Now, this here is where you're going to type in the information that whoever whoever the server is, um, or whoever runs the server, you're going to ask for this information here um, for their whatever particular room they are in. So you're going to want to type in either the IP address that they give you here or the, uh, the, the address of the IP or some of them will have a name. They can name the client and you can type in the name there. Now, if you're going by the IP, you're going to want to type in the whole number. And then you're going to want to put the semicolons there after 
um, you type that in and your port number is going to go in on the same line. So you'll have your IP address, the semicolons, and your port name or port number all on the same line. Here is your um, nickname and if there is a password you will have to do the password there. Now I'm going to pause this, put some information in, and we'll go into a room. Be right back. Okay, just just in case you didn't understand what I'm saying, if they give you like Podnuts is Podnuts Instant TS something. I don't remember what, exactly what it is, but now if they give you the IP address, just say Just say that was the address they'd given you, which I don't sure. That's just numbers I made up. What I'm going to do next is they'll give you a port number also. We're going to do the semicolons, and then you want to put your port number in right after that, and then you will hit connect. Okay, now after I hit connect, we've come into the TeamSpeak room. And here is where you're going to be able to hit your push to talk and talk to people. Um, as you see here, we have one other person in the room at the time. These rooms here are different rooms. You can drag yourself down Channel switched. to those rooms there. You can come down to any room Channel you want switched. to, okay? Now, that's just a little about the team speak. Now that you're in the room, and just say for some reason you don't want to hear when someone enters the room, just like here, you can hear. I don't know if you can hear this or not. Channel switched. Whenever you switch a channel or someone enters a room or something, you can hear that. Okay, now if I'm in this room and I want to deactivate all the sounds of the people entering the room, leaving the room, and different things like that, what I can do is I can go to settings I can go to options. Right here, I can hit the drop down menu Channel for switched. default sound pack that was on female when we set it up. I can hit sounds deactivated. I can come over here to where it says play only important sounds. I can also play no sounds here. I can apply and hit OK. Now that should turn the sounds off when you come in or out of the room or somebody else comes in and out of the room and different things when you hear the people talking. That way you don't have that, um, if someone's talking, you don't have that in the middle of it and you don't hear what they're saying. Now at the bottom here is like the channel log of the room. There's another little bar here it's called software. If you click on that, now at the bottom line here you can type and hit enter. And everyone in the room can see what you're typing. You can share links that way. But that's just some of the things about the TeamSpeak room. Channel switched. Channel switched. 